I'm a little bit more spry tonight than I was before. Uh, so breaking news, as you can see by the title, Ryan Willis, former MVP of the Spring League and Spring League champion in 2021, was released by the St. Louis Battlehawks. Apparently, it was a mutual decision between both parties. Coming in, Ryan thought he was going to be QB1, originally released by Mike Mitchell in September, that he was the first assigned quarterback to the Battlehawks. Eventually, he was drafted with A.J. McCarron on November 15th or assigned, but he has been released. So originally, Ryan was going to be my number six quarterback on the way too early quarterback rankings, but since he is teamless, that kind of jumbles things up a little bit. So if you go back to my Kevin Anderson video, I'm going to put Kevin Anderson back at 16 rather than the honorable mention. So if you don't know who Ryan Willis is, came out of KU, then went to Virginia Tech, Virginia Tech, sorry about that, where he did beat out Hayden Hooker at one point, really didn't get much NFL interest, went to the Spring League, won the MVP, and was able to translate that into a short stint with the Bears, was active for one game, and a lot of people were pretty high on him, obviously, with that Spring League success, but team ultimately felt that going with uh, A.J. McCarron and Nick Tiano. Uh, McCarron's one of the more experienced quarterbacks in the XFL, or excuse me, the most experienced quarterback, possibly the most experienced player in the XFL. And per an interview I did with Coach Beck, along with multiple m- members of the media, was praised highly for his leadership and his ability to essentially be another coach out there. The most interesting thing was also Nick Tiano getting praised He's from a small school, UT uh, University of Tennessee at Chattanooga, some time with the Texans, some time in the CFL, but this is his actual first opportunity. So around 10 o'clock tonight, Eastern time at least, Ryan Willis was released per XFL analyst, and right now he's a free agent. Um, Yeah, it's big news obviously right now. You know, a lot of the hype was going into him, but it was a mutual parting of ways due to him being told he would not be the starting quarterback. So Willis put up pretty gaudy numbers in the spring league, um, 13 touchdowns, over 1,600 yards. Obviously, the lineman won the championship, and now he's a free agent. So very curious to see what he's got going in the future. Now the Battlehawks will be adding a quarterback to – uh to their QB3 spot, but Tiano looks like he's going to be QB2 going into into week one. I also keep in mind XFL cuts are coming this week. Teams have till February 10th to get down to 51 players. Battlehawks have been, you know, cutting players here and there. Um, The Guardians have been the most active, but that's the breaking news. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I've been getting a little bit more traction on these videos, so I'm going to keep doing this once again. Kevin Anderson coming into that QB, excuse me, that spot 16, and Ryan Willis is out of the way too early quarterback rankings. Thanks, guys. Have a great